Hey guys, before we jump into it, I want to tell you I have a graphic novel on Indiegogo, Epitaph Bread and Salt. It's a supernatural sci-fi action urban fantasy story. It's got a great alternate cover by Ebi Canalis of Ironsight and Abductables fame. We've got 38 days to get it fully funded, so go check out Epitaph Bread and Salt. If you like it, back it. We'll get it out to you. Other than that, let's get into the video. Hey guys, Nathan Brendan Masters, I'm back. Um, I know I told you guys I want to uh, put more content out, but every time I say that, uh, all kinds of crazy stuff happens. So uh, I'm back now. What I want to do today was show off this program that I'm using called LumaFusion. It's this baby right here. And uh, this is an editor for the iPad, particularly iPad Pro, which it's generally associated with. It is the most powerful of the iPads and has a great GPU in it. Now this, this one's up there. It's not as powerful, but it does have an A12 chip in it not to be confused with the A12X chip that the iPad Pro has. So there is a difference. iPad Pro is slightly more powerful and as, as I said, better GPU. But this is no slouch. And uh, I'm just gonna show you a little bit of editing in LumaFusion, not really a tutorial. I'll actually link you to some, uh, some pretty good uh, tutorials for this. I just wanna show this off the modern iPads are all pretty powerful devices. So uh, let's jump into it. Uh, this is a setup that you've seen before. The media is up here in your uh, upper left hand corner. You have a viewer and you have a timeline. Basic stuff. If you've done any editing, you know what this, what this is. So you're gonna find your clips. Now I have a lot of this set up already. Uh, let's go here. And uh, what you can do down here, you can trim. See, uh, let's get her. Let's get her actually coming out of the door. So you can trim the clip up there. Now I'll probably trim this down later because I always do that and then trim it down. But uh, this is your insert edit right here. So you hit this, and it pops onto the timeline. So you go for your next clip. You do the same thing. I always try to go for this close up, but that never works out the way I want it to. Uh, where is the clip? I think this is Nita. Yep, she comes around. We're going to start this clip right. We're going to start with her coming around the corner. Going to hit that, and that's going to pop into place. So there you have it. Now, I'm going to get this and this clip. Again, this is already trimmed out. I'm just going to hit it. It's going to pop into place. And uh, the last one, same thing. I've already trimmed it. It's going to pop into place. So what I want to do is... With this one, there's some editing bits, I believe. Let's see. Cut. Do it again. All right, so. We're gonna go back here. Right there, where that line is. You see there's like a little spike there in the audio. That's me yelling cut. We're gonna clip that out. And over here is your garbage can, so you select the uh, the clip that you want, hit that, and it just disappears off the timeline. So let's look at it. All right, nice transition. Um, let's see, there's a point where this gets... Okay, so we're gonna trim this down to right here. Yeah, we'll, we'll look at that later. Now this I know is too long. I always like to show him coming from here, but I think I'll do it. Let's see. All right, just right there. 
and we're going to cut the rest of it. Now, again, you hear some audio there. I don't want that audio. So over here, you have a whole bunch of things you can work with. Right now, we're going to work with the sound, okay? I'm going to click here, see the sound symbol. We're going to bring this right on down, just like that. And we're going to go back and play it. No sound. All right. Now, if I wanted to, I could replace that sound, but I'm not going to, going to worry about that right now. Let's see. And I see a spike here. I know that's when I called action. So we're going to go here. We're going to select that clip. We're going to cut it. And we're going to get rid of that. Just like that. All right, so let's just say I want to make this bigger. So we walk by. I'm going to emphasize the hit. Boom, right there. All right, so we've got this. We're going to click on that. Double click. We're going back into that same location. Now I'm going to hit this. This is size and position. Okay, size and position, you can do the same thing you do in a lot of editors. Resize your footage. I'm going to make this a little bit bigger. Bring them right here. Now, this is probably not the best quality footage that you want to uh, be resizing, but we're going to work with it because it's what we have. Now, see, this is the thing. I keep doing this, expecting for this to move over, but that doesn't move. You have to move this. So, now that was probably a little bit shorter than I would have liked, but so he walks up. And he grabs. Boom. I'm going to cut here. Now, that's something that happens sometimes. You'll try to grab a clip and you'll grab it and pull it over. So be wary of that. Right there. Okay. I'm going to cut this. All right. And we're going to get that out of the way. So that just makes the grab look like it was a little bit faster. And I might do the same thing with the grab where I take it and make it a little bit bigger. We're going to cut it right there. I don't know why I do that. I always click on that, but that's selected already. All right, so we have a nice little clip here. 
See, this is about uh, 30 seconds. No, it's 35 seconds. Run it back. All right, let's watch the whole thing. All right, so that's our clip. Another thing we can do here is we have access to Storyblocks from directly in the program. Now, if you have a subscription to Storyblocks, you will have access to your footage and uh, all of that good stuff. If you don't, then uh, <laughs> you'll have to use footage with the watermark, which is not what you want to do. Now, when you come over here, you're going to be using these for navigation. So you're going to hit story blocks. It's going to take you back here. What you can use is music. They have a bunch of royalty free stuff here that you can use. You can just kind of listen to it. This is the one that, that, that's probably the best, but I'm going to try something else because that one's not as long as I would like. Nope, don't like that either. Um... Let's see, here's some acoustic loops. Yeah, let's go with the dramatic music. So all I did there was double tap it and it went down in into the project. So the music actually changes the whole vibe of this project. So there you have it, guys, and you can see how this handles editing on the iPad Air. It's not a problem at all. You might have a little bit more time when you're rendering it out. Other than that, you shouldn't have too much problem editing on your iPad Air, particularly for mobile editing. I don't know if you'd be able to edit a feature film or something like that on here, but YouTube videos and things like that, especially if you have an iPad Pro, especially if you have the 12.9 inch iPad Pro, uh, this is going to be perfect for a mobile editing suite. Of course, you're going to have to learn how to use it. And it is very different from your uh, using your computer. So other than that, guys, you take it easy. Nathan Brendan Masters. Don't forget Epitaph Bread and Salt. It's on Indiegogo. Go back that project. And Asta. Asta.